What is going on, everyone, and welcome back to Cart 63. Uh, my name is Ben, in case this is your first time here, and uh, I'm glad you stopped by. Uh, we talk about carts and racing and uh, tips and tricks and all sorts of nifty stuff on this channel. Uh, if you didn't mind, if you could hit a like sometime during this video, if it's, if you think it's worth <laughs> while. If you really like this channel, you could go ahead and subscribe. That would help the channel a lot. I would really appreciate it. So, uh, race season, almost here. Uh, it is Thursday, and I am going racing Saturday, weather depending. <laughs> That's always a thing up here in uh, schizophrenic New York. One day it's 80, one day it's 40, one day it's raining. Eh, you know, we're hoping for the best. The, the forecast so far looks okay. So I started to load up the trailer and I thought, you know what would be a great video would be trailer stuff. So uh, race trailer is the topic of today. And I know everybody has their thing and the way they load their trailer, but I thought, you know what? If I show some things that I do, not that they're correct or anything like that, but maybe it would help somebody who didn't think about that that way. Like, uh, for instance, when I bring my own water to the track, that, that thing. Like, you don't see that all the time. Five-gallon bucket, throw a sponge in the bucket, fill it up at home, bring it along with you. Boom, washing tires without wondering where the track's water supply is. Little stuff like that. I thought that I would try and describe in this video that maybe it'd give some, you know, different points of view on how to go about, you know, what parts and pieces, anything like that, that you would bring in your race trailer. So um, I have a very small race trailer now. I spent years with a couple of UAS rides, um, a big, uh, what was it, 16 by seven extended trailer, dual axle, big ramp door, all the storage I could want, a full size toolbox in there. We really downgraded, get back to grassroots, went with the uh, very, very much smaller, uh, what was it, an eight, eight by five, five by eight? I, it's pretty small. Anyway, uh, it's a lot smaller. I got quite used to it last year. It's easy to pull. Uh, it gets everything I need for race day in there without all the bells and whistles type of thing. So um, I'm gonna give you a tour of my trailer right now. And yeah, I'm not gonna do a conclusion on this video. Uh, normally I'd do a conclusion, but I don't really, think there's a need for it. So we're going to uh, pop out to my trailer real quick here, show you what's going on, and uh, I'll see you guys at the next video. I probably will say that at the end of the video I'm about to record. So, <laughs> All right, guys. See you in a minute. All right. Here we are looking at the trailer. I don't know if anybody's ever seen my trailer. She's just a tiny one. This is my backyard. <laughs> uh, my neighbor's dog's barking. All right. I used to have a big, uh, what was it, 16 by 7 uh, dual axle, but we have since downgraded and uh, just the bare minimum. So, uh, I guess first things first, tire racks. Now, you can buy tire racks, the nice uh, stainless steel or aluminum ones, but honestly, right here, I'm going to take this tire out of the way. We're going to show you. Just some quick brackets, screwed to the side, one piece of conduit. I do have a support in the center, so we're coming across here. Got a support there, and all the way down on the end, I have another one. Holds, uh, you know, this is a, a, a fairly uh, small trailer. I get two full size, uh, or full sets of tires there. The other way, uh, I'm going to show you here real quick. If you're looking for some way to uh, store tires or bring them with you is this. This is just a, a, a long piece of dowel wood. So I'm up here. I got some eyelets on the end. And then a ratchet strap. Cut it kind of to length. And then through the center and ratchet strap and you got one set of tires all together real real simple all right obviously toolbox stickers i am a sticker holic what do i bring in my toolbox box might you ask all right we have uh air temperature gauge miscellaneous now i <laughs> can't explain this before but uh I am not a neat freak. 
uh, organized chaos is kind of my motive here. Even though it looks chaotic, I know where everything is. Uh, it may not to somebody else, but I, I, I can come up and I can pop into these drawers, know darn well where what I need is. Uh, just leave me alone. <laughs> so, uh, you know, just your typical things. You know, you're going to have hex keys and uh, pliers and screwdrivers and wrenches and everything. Uh, this is kind of a miscellaneous drawer. We get some uh, spark plugs. Uh, this, this tool here is for the uh, armature height on uh, the open carbs for the Bama. We got pop-off gauge. Got a couple pop-off gauges. My uh, chain tool, tire sizer, of course. This is uh, for the Zeus, the Zeus fasteners on my bodywork. Chain alignment, uh, laser, durometer, some uh, sandpaper for sanding. Uh, some tracks require these. Uh, so I do have one, although I can tell you with the open, I don't know if it's the RPMs or what the deal is. Uh, you can't hear anything. I can't ever hear anything. So up on top here, this was a purchase from last year. I got some duct tape, okay? But this was a purchase from last year. I got this at Lowe's. This is a battery-operated uh, pump, so I don't have to carry my tank with me anymore. I do have an air tank like most people would. But I don't have to carry that. Nice and small, compact. Don't have to worry about filling it up. Make sure the battery's charged every week. Voila, I get to pump up my tires. This is drill. I do have my impact that goes alongside of this thing. Uh, lead hammer. Um, safety wire. Some rags. Okay. Coming down here, we have tire, or tire, cheese, rear gears. I have two sets of them for the most part, with the exception of... Probably one that's on the cart right now, and I think I'm missing another one. I think I'm missing that. What is that? 58? I think I'm missing 58. I went through them. I don't seem to have any of uh, 58s kicking around. It's all right. I can move around. <laughs> but I have two full sets of those because I used to bring, with the bigger trailer, I used to have two opens at all times, and, you know, if I, if I had something for backup, uh, I wanted the same gear on both carts. So, come down here, I guess. We'll, uh, we'll start at the end and then move towards the front. Uh, Five-gallon bucket. Lowe's, again. Uh, why don't I use Home Depot? Well, because there's not one close to me. So, Lowe's, uh, bring your own water with you this way. Sponge in there. Fill this bucket up at home. Put the lid on. You don't have to worry about finding water at track ever. You have it with you already. This first tote, we have backup KT100. There are a million ways you can, you know, bring your clone. There's racks, there's this and that. I like totes. Seal them up, they stack, everything else like that. I have spare filters. I have spare belts. Numerous spell bar, uh, spare belts. This is a 30 millimeter in case ever, anybody ever has one of those, like with a 125 open or something like that. I just carry it along just in case somebody needs it. You're going to find that with this collection here that it's probably overkill for a weekly racer, but occasionally people need parts, and I like to have a little, you know, I like to help out. So if I have a spare piece of this or that, some, some chemicals, whatever it is, I try and help out that way. All right, this is my uh, tire prep and lubrication tote. So uh, gloves. Uh, to keep your hands out of the chemicals. These are sandwich containers with a wax applicator that try and do, do this stuff one-handed. So you're going to put the wax applicator inside and then saturate it with whatever prep. This happens to be SST and that keeps the, uh, the pad moist and saturated with your chemicals. Come over here, obviously funnel, set that off to the side, another funnel, never know, if one has a crack, we got my lineup of uh, preps, I honestly am getting pretty low on <laughs> track tech, <laughs> for a guy who pushes uh, track tech products because I love them so much, uh, my supply is, uh, it's dwindling, it's going to have to get uh, 
done up again here, but you know, anything. There's like the SST, this is uh, SQS, you got uh, SSA. Uh, I do, I don't use it that often. This is Goat P, this is Krugs, and this is Black Sand. Um, those are, I don't use those that often, but you never know. I'd rather have them and not need them. You know, that, that saying there. And, uh, what do we got here? Oh, of course we do. I always have Blenzol. I love this caster. I love the smell of it. I love the performance of it. So eight ounces to a gallon. This gets me two gallons. Not that the Yamaha really uses all that much. Uh, over here, here's some, uh, Acrosol. I use uh, some orange. That is almost gone. Yeah. <laughs> My orange is almost gone. Um, electrical cleaner. I don't hardly ever use this. It's nice when I do need it, though. Uh, got some brake fluid. DOT5, I believe. Yep, that's the purple stuff. Uh, okay, and an air filter, yeah, air filter oil, some WD, of course. I usually have Tri-Flow in here. I happen to be out of it. Uh, I got some uh, glass cleaner, clean off my face shield. Uh, carb clean, track tack blue tire wash. And then I always have a couple cans of this shop salt, just an all-around good cleaner for anything that needs to be sprayed off. All right. Oh, uh, I forgot this. This is a mix ratio, right? These things work great for measuring your oil and everything. Always have that along. All right, this is the miscellaneous uh, tote. So there's a little bit of everything in here. Like I said, in case somebody, you know, it's not always me, in case somebody needs something. So these are the clutches for the open. At least part, you know, part of them without the baskets and everything. There are baskets, but... Uh, I bring them along in case I need a part. It's just, I'd rather have something I can go to rather than be like, oh, my crutch broke and that's the end of it. If I happen to have to come off of the two disc, which is on my KT100, I have four discs to go to to get through the night. Is it ideal? No, but I do have them. All right, we have, uh, for instance, a, a spare hub or a gear hub. Yep, there's that. Uh, what else we got here? This is uh, electrical stuff, so anything like that. We got some uh, quick uh, stuff, some lubricants, this and that. Uh, what we got down in there? Oh, two chains. So I always carry spare chains with me, just in case. Never know when you're going to need one of them. Uh, I believe I have some jack shaft parts. I believe there's jack shaft parts in here, too. Uh, for my, I got some random nuts and bolts. I have a couple of those bins, this 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 container right here, that's random nuts and bolts. I, it's a thing that I have that I just, <laughs> you would think I'd be organized. I am not, um, but I can find what I need in there. Uh, some uh, carb pieces, these are for the uh, war barrels for the KT100. Uh, this is a, a gauge, uh, spring height tool for the clutch, in case anybody needs that or I need to make an adjustment. This is my header wrap, uh, some spare fuel line. I usually have more of that in here. I gotta order some before the season or buy some at track. Uh, brake line, just in case somebody breaks something or needs a, a, you know, a throttle cable. Housing, there's that. Uh, spare micron. What else we got in here? Uh, I believe that's a, a bearing, a rear axle bearing. Um, we got a uh, front hub. I must have needed that bearing, <laughs> or somebody needed a bearing. Uh, it's been in there. We we do have some jack shaft uh, shafts in there. Underneath here, I believe I have some brake uh, or uh, not brake, but uh, throttle cables under there. Uh, we got a backup rear plate in case I need that. So just you know, like I said, a miscellaneous bin, a lot of stuff that. Maybe I don't need, but, I, you know, it's just better to have it. Uh, torch for torch and stuff. We got a spare. I'm racing Saturday, so I already mixed up some fuel. So right there's uh, spare Yamaha fuel. And that's pretty much it for this little trailer. It uh, it gets the job done. No way. You, know, you saw those before. Seats. You got to have seats. I mean, <laughs> so just a quick look around in my trailer. Just thought maybe, oh, 
here's another thing, obviously my spare tire. Table, fold out table. Uh, I have had this one for a really, really long time. Uh, they have smaller ones, and for the smaller trailer, I kind of wish that I had that one. Maybe it's a purchase I'll make this year just to, to uh, you know, reduce in size a little bit. Um, up here, there's my, there was an incident with a muffler and a lawnmower that it ruined my good uh, phantom hat. <laughs> but up here, paper towels, obviously I get some, get some more shop towels. So um, I'm actually going to load this stuff up like I'm going racing. If you see this in the background, this is my ramp that I built to get the cart up in here. I'm going to load the cart and show you exactly how I have that in here. Just again to give you an idea. Maybe, maybe you know, you never thought of it that way. So I'm going to load the cart in here and show you how I strap it down. So give me a sec. And this is what that looks like. No, I do not take my cart off the stand. So <clears throat> I made this ramp so I can take it off and just like I uh, showed you before, just set it to the side. And then I have these eyelets. On the trailer floor that I run straps and I actually strap the entire cart would stand down to the floor wander on this way I'll kind of show you what the front looks like uh, it really depends on how I want to uh, mount all this stuff but even with the uh, even with the toolbox right there this comes here nice and easy one man operation is the uh, the key key here to my design. So, a little fuel, a little beer, octane, sixty three. I like this little trailer. It may be small, it gets the job done. It's really uh, quite the quite the acquisition, I'd say. So, there you go, guys. Uh, hopefully, that gave you some ideas about how maybe you can change some stuff up. Maybe it'll make uh, your your trailer a little more efficient. Some ideas, and uh, yeah, I'll catch you in the next video. Later.